sister Deza is here with us this week. I'll be working on week one's entry in the faith-based May monthly subscription box titled Joy. I'm using scriptures from this modern English creative journaling Bible, The Promises of God, and I'm using items from Michelle's faith-based sticker shop, Vin Von Alley. Use my PR code Vicky20 to save on your purchases. So take out your devotional book, Bible, war binder, journal, planner, and join me in week one's entry. The scriptures and focus scriptures for this week are joy, Matthew 2, 10, Matthew 13, 44, happiness versus joy, Deuteronomy 24, 5, Matthew 16, 26, and Matthew 26, 15, joy versus happiness, John 15, 11, and John 16, 22. The devotional reads, joy. In Galatians 5.22, the word joy is defined as gladness, cheerfulness, and calm delight. I particularly like Rick Warren's description of joy as the settled assurance that God is in control of all the details of my life, the quiet confidence that ultimately everything is going to be all right, and the determined choice to praise God in every situation. I can only speak for myself, and when I ask myself if I have joy before reading these definitions, I would immediately say no. Then after reading the definitions, I would remind myself that this joy is not the kind of joy I can get from the world. John 15, 11. My idea of joy is just basically having everything I want and everything is going the way I think that it should. I know that the word of God tells us that the rain falls on the just and the unjust, Matthew 5, 45. But this is just where my mind went to automatically. It is a constant renewing of the word, which brings me back to that settled assurance that Rick Warren defines as joy. Also, my invisible partner, Holy Spirit, reminds me of God's word, especially when trials and circumstances tries to steal my peace and joy. Referencing the podcast, joy will come forth when we know who we are, our true identity in Christ, how valuable we are. We are God's hidden treasures. Do you know how valuable you are? Whether financially or spiritually, we cannot sell out ourselves. Do you know how valuable you are? I'm so grateful for the comfort and counsel of the Holy Spirit. And this is a true representation of what the kingdom is. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Romans 4.17 If we're to measure our joy by not having the house we want, not having enough money, not having that perfect job or position or mate, then we don't have an understanding of what is truly the joy of the Lord. This joy provides us with not only confidence, but with a solid hope that whatever is going on in our lives, God is in control and he will make everything beautiful in his own time. Ecclesiastes 3.11 Blessings! And here's my week one's entry. Give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you for spending your time with me. Until next time. I hope today your heart desires. Ladies.